Welcome to it's Rafiq. In this video, we are going to practice some programs which use loop in Python. In Python, we use mainly two kinds of loop, for loop and while loop. First, we are going to practice while uh, for loop. In for loop, we have, uh, this is the format of a for loop. First, we write for, then we write a variable like var, then we write in range. In range is an operator which is uh, which accept three values like start, then and. And is always we have to give one increase because and is always minus one in Python. Suppose we want to stop at 10, then we have to write 11 because 11 minus one it will be 10. So you have to remember that. And here step means each time what we want to do plus or minus. After that two column, then we will write the statement. This is the format of a loop, for loop. Now suppose I want to display the number from 1 to 10 using for loop. So in Python we will write first for, then we take a variable, let the variable be x, then we will write in, then range. And here we will give the starting value as 1, ending value as 11, as I said, ending is always minus 1. So if I write 11, then it will stop at 10. And step each time let it be 1 then colon and here we will write print and here we will give the value as X as you can see here the output is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now suppose we want the number in reverse order we want to start from 10 to 1 then just we have to change these parameters or the values that we pass through the bracket. So our starting value will be 10 now and we will stop at 1. And also each time we will do minus 1 now. Now if we execute the program, you can see the output 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. As there is always we have to increase 1 in ending value when it's going positive so it when it goes in de uh, decreasing order always we have to decrease one number means if we want till 1 then we will write 0 so you will see now the in output we got the number till 1 now what if we write uh, something in, in instead of x suppose I am writing I love Python then you will see that particular sentence is repeated 10 times. Now if we have to give numbering, then we can give this way like x comma I love Python. Then you will see in each sentence one number like 10 I love Python till 1. And if we have to give the bracket, then you can give that bracket also so that it look more beautiful. So this way we can do it. And also we can format the output by using F keyword. We can write F and inverted comma open and close. And here we will give curly bracket. Then we will write here like within this bracket we will write the variable name that is X. And here whatever we can write like I love Python. Now you will see the output. So this game is I love Python exactly same that one. This is called as formatted output. Now suppose we have to display characters using this loop. We have a string variable str and here I have stored India. Now I'll have to display the values of India in means its character in separate line. So what we will do? We are going to use for loop. So we will write for. We will take a variable. Let the variable be x in. Then just now we are going not going to use range operator. While we are dealing with string, directly we write for x in. Then we write the variable name str. Then com colon print x now when i'll execute the program you will see its character in 
different lines. Now, what if we give some character instead of the variable? Suppose here I am writing Assam. Now you will see the same output in each line one one character a s s a m so this way even we can display characters by using for loop now let's do some other kind of program let's suppose we have to display the odd or even numbers like uh, display the even numbers from 1 to 100 using loop so to do this first what we will do we'll, we are going to use for loop for we'll take a variable x then in then we'll write range inside the range we'll give as we need the even number so I think you know already what is even number the number which is divisible by 2 these are even numbers so as we need the only the even numbers so we are going to start from 2 then our ending number will be we need till 100 so 1 0 1 and each step we are going to add 2 then print and here we will write x now when I will execute the program, I will get all the even numbers from 1 to 100. As if I scroll the window, you will see I got all the numbers from 2 till 100, all the even numbers. This is a way, but if we directly write, uh, if we start from 1, then let's see what happens. We will get only the odd numbers. You will see here we are getting only the odd numbers 1 3 5 7 9 because our number started from 1 and each time 2 is added to that particular number so 1 then 2 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 2 5 it goes like that we have some another way to display the even numbers so let's do that so we will pass only one value here means we are going till 100 so we will write 101 and before print statement, we will write a if statement. So we write if x module 2 equal 0. Means we will divide the value of x by 2 and check whether it is 0 or not. If it is 0, then we will print x. Otherwise, we will not do. So let's execute the program. So we are getting the same output. As the number is too big, so you are not able to see the whole numbers in one screen so let's reduce it to 11 you will see we will get all the even numbers from 0 to 10 0 2 4 6 8 10 as python loop is started always from 0 that's why we are getting like that but if we want to start from 1 then we can give 1 comma 11 so let's see we are getting this output we have not written the third statement inside the range if we don't write the third statement it automatically assume that it is one we can write also no issue but the output will be same as you can see here now we'll see by using while loop how we can use while loop in a program so we are removing that to use while loop first we require a variable that is called counter variable suppose we have a variable counter variable and we are taking the counter is 1 and we will have sorry semicolon is not needed and we'll have to display the numbers till 10 so we will write the condition is while while c less than equal to 10 colon then suppose I want to print the value of x, so print will write x. After that, we will have to change the counter. If we do not change the counter, it will be always remain 1. That means the condition will be always remain true and the loop will run infinity time. So we will have to change the counter. For that, we will write c plus equal 
1. That means each time the value of C will be increased by 1. Now let's execute the program. Here I think that equal sign is not supported here. So let's cut the equal sign. Oh, we have not defined x only. That's why the, we are getting the mistake. Our variable is C because previous program I have used x variable. So it came automatically. Let's see. So we are getting the number till 9 because as we have not given the equal sign. So we are getting till 9. If we give the equal sign, then we will get till 10. So this way we can use while loop also. This loop can be very useful while we are displaying patterns, while we are working with sets, while we are working with arrays. At that moment, loops are very important. We are going, uh, we are having some more examples in next video. For this video, this much only. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.